so you guys if you keys you look come on uh news updates looking on how to guide how to protect your nfts so articles done by daniel phillips and come back a blog alexandra there's a big red subscribe button beneath this video you want to click on it and also turn on notifications so you get notified whenever we drop our beneficial uploads i'm going to head on straight to the article so now it says as nfts gain increasing exposure and value this is a fortunately drawn the attention of no gooders that would like to get their hands on your assets so by any means possible so fortunately these assets are incredibly secure at the blockchain this means this uh, highly unlikely that anybody will lose their asset due to a blockchain level hack or attack. So instead, the vast majority of NFT thefts and losses occur due to asset holders falling victim to one of a growing number of scam attempts or failing to adequately secure their assets. So if you are a fan of digital collectibles or have exposure to NFTs, it's important to take the time to understand how to properly protect these rapidly emerging asset class. And one of them is the uh, use of a hardware wallet. So if you are currently storing your NFTs on a custodial wallet solution, don't. So centralized platforms can and sometimes do get hard. So these are some of the things you want to note. Getting a hardware wallet is very much uh, important. So instead, consider purchasing one of the numerous hardware wallets that are now available. So these are generally small physical devices that are used to isolate your cryptocurrencies and other digital assets from the internet and potentially uh, dangerous situations. So all you need to do is that uh, these are generally required to manually sign each transaction, preventing anybody from stealing your asset remotely. But they do require you to take full control of your uh, security, which generally involves backing up and storing up your uh, seed phrases on mnemonics. So there is now a huge range of uh, hardware markets, hardware wallets in the market. We have loads of them. We have SafePower, we have Kobo uh, Votes, so including I'm sure that suit practically any budget. So you want to check them out. We'll be dropping a link for Kobo Votes in the description box so you can check it out. Next on the list, you want to use a different marketplace. So if the recent OpenSea bug has taught us anything, you don't need to be explicitly uh, robbed to lose your NFTs. You might end up inadvertently selling them at a frustrating low price instead. So depending on your NFT marketplace of choice, you may or may not have access to the control necessary to adequately protect your NFTs against attacks. In most cases, NFT marketplaces are non-custodial platforms, which means that you always control your assets even when they are listed on the marketplace or simply presented in your portfolio. Now, you want to know that if these smart contracts are bugged, you can leave your NFTs vulnerable. <laughs> so, it says here, a bug on the NFT my marketplace, uh, OpenSea, is currently being exploited to purchase NFTs as well as at well below market value so one hacker paid 133k dollars for seven nfts before quickly selling them on for 934k uh, uh, uh nft uh thousand dollars so guys i think i think this this massive made loads of, loads of profit from these transactions So because of this, it's important to ensure that the marketplace you use is both highly secure and well reputed. One of the simplest ways to check this is by looking at your public audits, which essentially check that your smart contracts do not contain any bugs or vulnerabilities or various safe uh, use for the public. So you want to defend, defend against viruses, uh, computer viruses, and more. Also, it says avoid scammers. So, fortunately, the cryptocurrency industry is really cool with scammers and fraudsters who like nothing more than to part you uh, from your NFTs and other digital assets. So, in general, you want to know that you always double check when purchasing an NFT, transferring it using uh, an NFT marketplace or performing any other task that requires you to log into a website or service that assess your NFTs. Always double check. And you have the correct URL. So be wary of copycats. So one of the most common ways of NFT orders getting scammed is by falling victim to copycat uh, NFTs. 
as somebody impugnates a personating a reputable individual entity organization or even a fishing site so Coinbase warns here that uh, Starbucks targeted in phishing attacks. So you want to note the official website is uh, different. They now also listed um, emails or messages, anti phishing emails. So by following these three key rules, you'll be able to avoid the vast majority of uh, NFT risk and uh, uh, crypto risks or scams that are occur in the crypto uh, industry. So guys, that's all you buy keys. Stay tuned for more. Peace out and one love, guys.